Okay, confession time. I'm addicted to trading card games. Basically, ever since high school, I've been <laughs> collecting and playing all sorts of trading card games. Everything from Flesh and Blood, to Yu-Gi-Oh, even dabbling a bit in Magic the Gathering. Surprisingly, MetaZoo, but we don't really need to talk about that. And then most recently, Star Wars Unlimited. But why is there no Harry Potter trading card game? Well, there used to be. That's right, there is actually a Harry Potter trading card game that was created by none other than Wizards of the Coast, and it was meant to be a direct competitor to Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, and Yu-Gi-Oh! And it released around the same time as the first film back in 2001. However, the last set came out in 2002, which is kind of weird because according to this wiki, at one point the game was the second best-selling toy in the United States. So what happened to it? <laughs> And so being the huge Harry Potter collector I am, and big fan of TCGs, I figured, let's search eBay and find some structure decks or something. Ooh, that hurt my soul. I bet. So we've got a Manticore deck and a Chimera deck. Interesting. It is interesting, isn't it? PCs. And then the advanced rules, it says specifically, do not read these rules until you've played a few games using the rules on the play mats. Which is also interesting. Comes with a card list. So I guess you can track your collecting and see what cards you have, don't have, the different rarities of things. And there's a whole guide on building your own deck. <laughs> All right, so this is massive, but it's a two-person play mat, and it's got how to play on the sides. There. So let's learn how to play. To start playing is actually really simple. Each deck has 40 cards and one witch or wizard card, and your deck is actually your health. So anytime you take damage, you're sending cards from the top of your deck to the discard pile. The first player to run out of cards in their deck loses. And the main way you do damage is through your creatures. Each creature has a resource requirement in the top left. This requirement is how many lessons you need in play. In addition to that, certain spells and creatures require you have at least one of a specific type of lesson. In the case of the Manticore here, you need five lessons total, but one of them needs to be a Magical Creatures lesson. Basically, lessons work kind of like land. However, you never have to exhaust them, and you don't get rid of them. So to start the game, you start with seven cards in hand. Put your deck in the deck zone, and your wizard or witch in the wizard witch zone. Then you begin your turn. Turns are made up of three different steps. The draw step, step two, which is basically where damage happens from the creatures, and then step three, where you can take any two actions, those being playing a creature, playing a lesson, playing a spell, or drawing an extra card. You can do any two of those actions, and you can do two of the same action for your turn. And that's pretty much it. It's honestly a pretty simple game at its core. So let's see how it actually plays. Okay, so we have kind of sort of learned the rules. Kind of. Do you familiar stories yourself? <laughs> sure! <laughs> yeah. So basically, uh, the before you play is put your Witcher Wizard in their spot. I'm playing as Hermione the Potion Maker. Draco the Seeker. Draco the Seeker. Shuffle your deck, put it in the deck spot, draw seven cards for your starting hand, and decide who goes first. This is my hand. Probably could have used a better shuffle, honestly. Is that going to play any less than the Okay, so I'm going to use, or I'm supposed to draw first. Mm -hmm. right, yeah, so we'll draw. That's good. So I'm going to put a lesson down. It's a transfiguration lesson. And then I'm going to play 
Every flavor beans. It allows me to reveal the top two cards of my deck. Put into play any lesson cards I reveal. Put into your discard pile any non-lesson cards revealed and draw a card. Interesting. So that's not a lesson card, and that's not a lesson card. And then I draw. And now it should be your turn, because those were my two actions. Okay. So I draw. And then to get two actions. Yep. I'm going to play a Care of Magical Creatures lesson. And then can you only place one lesson? No, remember you can do the same okay. action twice. Gotcha. Yep. Thinking other games. And then for my second action, I will play this Charms lesson. Also important for you to remember is like, so the cost that's listed, mm -hmm. that's how many lessons, but you only have one. That match. matches yeah. it. So you did your two? Okay, <laughs> and so now I will draw. I will play a Care of Magical Creatures lesson, and then I am going to play my Curious Raven. Damage each turn is one, it has a health of one. Okay. Does that start now? It's only on your turn that the damage like, happens for creatures you control. Okay. So you won't be doing any damage, or taking any damage until we expect to Okay. Those are my two actions. I show the I will play another Care Magical Creatures lesson. And then I will play this Health of Health Badger. Health of 3, damage each turn 1. Alright, so now I draw. You take 1 damage. No one card. And now I play. I will play another Transfiguration lesson. And then I will play another Curious Raven. Mm. Okay. Gross. I shall draw. Okay, and then I take 1 damage. I shall play another Charms lesson, and then, ooh, what do I want to do? I'm going to use one of those Charms to play Gone. I get to look at the opponent's hand. If there are any creature cards there, choose one of them and discard it. Oh, dude, no, don't. <laughs> There's only one creature card here. Well, it looks like you're starting it. No, my boss monster. <laughs> my sticky chimera. <laughs> and that should be the option. Yep, my turn. Yep, because I played Okay, yeah. I'll draw. You'll take two damage. I don't want to. Okay, I'm going to use Hermione's ability as one of my actions. So you'll let me take two lessons and put them down. It's like kind of busted. And then I think I'm just going to draw as my extra action. Should draw for Kinetic? And... I'm going to play this Curious Raven. And then for my second action, I will play another Curious Raven. Oof. All right, I'll draw. I'll take, what, three? Okay. Okay, um... I'm going to use Hermione's action again. Put down two more. So that's seven in total. Mm. I'm going to. I feel like I should hang on to that. I'm going to cast Vanishing Step. So during your next turn, you only get one action. Mm. Okay. You took your three. I did now. So that's it. You shall draw for turn. And I guess for my one action, I shall play another lesson. And then I'm taking... And I took three. Yep, you're done. Yep, here we go. Alright, draw, you take two. And two. Alright, I'm going to play Beetle Buttons and get rid of this Badger. Mm, does it do three now? It just says choose one of your opponent's creatures and play and discard it. Okay. And then... Uh, I'm going to play another one. <laughs> You're ready one of your ravens. Okay. Go for turn. I'll take the two. Ooh. I'm gonna play this Hagrid and the Stranger, which is put a creature card from your discard pile into your hand. Whoa. I need that for my sticky chimera. <laughs> I'm gonna be taking the Slytherin Serpent into hand. Right, and I took one damage. Mm -hmm. okay. I'll draw, you take two. I'm going to play another magical creature lesson, and then I'm going to draw an extra card. I shall draw. Ah. You put another charms lesson down, and then I will play the second. Okay, I took one. This damage each turn. It's at the start of the turn. That's oh, okay. Yeah. Then I need to take the two. 
No. You're disparaging four. Huh? Once you, once you take the damage, it's four in total. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm going to play this and get rid of that. No. <laughs> it worked for the turn. Um, and I guess I'll play another one and get rid of that one. My damage! Your turn. Take two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna add another charm, and then I'm gonna play this freezing charm to do full damage to your deck. To my deck. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll draw, you'll take two. I'll play another Transfiguration lesson and play Ravenclaw Eagle. Do you have a hand? No. I will use six to play this to draw three cards. I, uh, can I retract that statement? <laughs> yeah. Okay. You do that, you lose. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna play this Triumph's class. Oh, go ahead. Alright, I'll draw. Uh, I'll play a Care of Magical Creatures lesson, and then I will, uh, <laughs> You draw, take four, and lose. I lose! <laughs> Damn. Oh, the Manticore's on the bottom. Mmm, unlucky. And that's pretty much the game. So what do I like about it? What don't I like about it? Honestly, the deck being your health, I'm kind of 50-50 on. Uh, I think it can be an interesting mechanic in some games, but I also think it really kind of becomes unbalanced for someone when they get behind by a lot, because then they're losing the cards they might need to start winning the game again. Uh, at its core, like I said, it's a very, very simple game. Uh, there is no direct attacking, so to speak, like your creatures don't interact with each other at all, unless there's some creatures with effects later on. Uh, these were just base structure decks, so I don't know how complicated the game can really get. Uh, also, creatures have a health, but I didn't really come across any cards that dealt damage to creatures, only to the decks. Every creature removal spell was just a discard the creature. Just get it out of here. Don't worry about the health, it's gone. Uh, so, again, that might just be from having a lack of a card pool to really look at. Also, it's got kind of the same mana system as Magic, right? I think it's nice that you don't have to tap land. Uh, I think it's nice that you don't have to have all the land be the same specific color. Every card, it's just, hey, make sure you have the required amount of lessons and make sure one of them is of the same type as the card you're trying to use. I really like the art on some of the cards and the foiling, but the art on the Witch and Wizard cards themselves are kind of terrifying. <laughs> it looks like someone made the character out of clay and then somehow digitally scanned that clay recreation as the, the card. I don't know why. All the other creatures and stuff have like this nice hand-drawn feel to them. Except for the Witches and Wizards, which is really off-putting if you ask me. I don't know how often I would actually play the game. Uh, I do think I kind of prefer some of the other trading card games I play, like Flesh and Blood and Star Wars Unlimited. I can definitely see myself collecting this game and probably making a Quidditch-themed deck, because I did notice that Quidditch lessons are a thing, meaning that there is Quidditch-specific cards, and we can make a whole deck around it. And some final closing remarks. I know this video was very different from some of my other videos, trying to reach out and kind of diversify the video types, of course still pertaining to Harry Potter. Also, this might be my last video just for a little bit because I live in Florida and we've got a giant hurricane on the way. So, might be a minute before I post another video, but we will get there. Anyway, thank you guys for watching.